Welcome back and thank you. Let's take a few of your early bird messages and then we'll get to introduce my guest for the news review segment. Now, good morning, Johnny. I'm a private school teacher in Aflao. I worked for the Electoral Commission during the District Assembly elections in December last year and I have not been paid yet, and not only me, but many other colleagues as well. And uh, please tell the Electoral Commission to pay us our allowances before embarking on another exercise. At least we can survive with that money for at least a month. We are pleading with you. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, John from Aflau. Eben from Kwabinya Welder Junction says, Thank God for ushering us into a new month of July. The registration is still on, and I urge all Ghanaians uh, out in their, to come out in their numbers to register. Also, let's observe the social distancing protocols to be alive and kick out these corrupt government uh, of incompetent President Akufado come December 7. I am Kayenti Joseph, a student nurse at Whole Nursing Training College. My landlady has successfully gone through the registration process. She is by the name Gladys Cook. Okay, thank you very much. What are you waiting for? Uh, voters' registration takes off smoothly to you, Madam Jean Mensa, but to we, the Ghanaians, it's a big no. So EC should stop praising itself for a good work done in registering from a bloody Fiekuma Zongo in Takradi. Did the EC say Ghanaians have one man to register? It is absolutely untrue. Given this novel cluster system of registration, citizens are limited to the period designated for their cluster. The implication is that loss of citizens will be disenfranchised at two at downtown in Tadi. Hello, Johnny. Good morning to you and your colleagues. Please, I registered for my Ghana card, and when the card was ready, I went to verify, and the machines rejected me, which means that while uh, I wait for my, why the card was, uh, well, you're asking why the card was there. I saw my card, but because my, my verification failed, my card wasn't given to me, and the excuse was that my data was not in the system. So my question is, if my data was not in the system, where did they get my data to print my card? That's a very, very good question. Question. Good morning, TV3. Johnny, congratulations to the president for ending social distancing in only trotro and vehicles, excluding the other social gatherings. Mancha David from uh, Dumasi Krobo, sounding very sarcastic there. I got shocked on the EC uh, card uh, that, that they are presenting when I saw one yesterday. Even the cutting is not, not, not. Lamination, pa. Hmm. Happy birthday, Mr. Afo. Uh, Alex from Cape Coast. Good morning, Bella, Johnny. And that's them. The ongoing registration is a total is totally flawed. Where did where I did my registration? Tongo Catholic uh, Church. No security personnel to ensure the protocols and observed uh, are observed. And the person checking the temperature is nowhere uh, near a health person. I was not checked, and most people were not checked, and the social distancing was not observed either. It was battle of the fittest. I pray today these protocols are adhered to for our own safety. Uh, Azuma Kusi Paul, in, and the card is not nothing to write home about. You say just chop chop alone. And uh, good morning, maybe final one here. Good morning, TV3. The problem is what we're all well meaning Ghanaians were trying to prevent, but the EC and the government insisted. Hmm. Did I hear the EC official yesterday say it's everyone's responsibility when they were vehemently say that they can do uh, it without a problem? Hmm. God have mercy. NS in Dansuman. And finally, good morning to you all. I want to find out if the EC tested all employees before they started this registration. And also, if one registered at Kumasi for the last registrations, uh, I'm no longer there. Is there a need for a transfer of the registration or can I uh, go ahead and register in my current location you are asking ahead of uh, your intention to go out there and get yourself registered but we'll join my guests shortly uh, my two gentlemen have joined me and we'll introduce them to you shortly while we get on but in the meantime let me quickly uh, and uh, hastily say a happy birthday to some mr echo Tichi joseph is the head of department of the presbyterian secondary technical uh, school at Insuta Kwaman. Happy birthday. This from Wolf Asetre. And also, uh, Christian AJ from Pong of Onya FM and Onya TV wishes his mother, Mrs. Mary Osei from Pong, a retired teacher, a happy birthday. She's now in Mampon Suta in the Ashanti region where uh, he hails from. The Ghanaian Times this morning is talking about uh, the president inaugurating 74.3 million water project in the central region. We also, well, deal with troublemakers at registration centers. That's according to the Greater Accra Regional Minister, Nia Marshitink, who wins presidential pitch today. That's what we're asking. And you remember the presidential pitch under the Ministry for Business Development, uh, the Honorable Dr. Awal. Three judges murdered 38 years ago today. They've been remembered. Voter registration takes off smoothly, but with social distancing, mask wearing concerns. The Daily Graphic this morning reports that enthusiasm, <clears throat> many turn up to register on Thursday. Social distancing protocol breached. 
COVID-19 Private Sector Fund appeals for support. Government free water for all ends today. Electoral Commission 2020 Voters Registration Exercise Movement Plan Phase 1. And the final newspaper, voters rush for cards, but many dismayed and many disregard social distancing protocols. CBJ supports NDA with 50,000 to return over 500 Kaya home. And GMA laments lack of PPE, shortage of COVID-19 test kits. And they are also asking uh, for prosecution of those who uh, breached the protocols, especially at the MPP prime. It's not just those at the EC as well. The BNFT says COVID-19 spares use of mobile banking, but customers still have cyber security concerns. Fluctuating oil prices put indigenous OMCs, BDCs, in peril. And the Daily Guide this morning says voters rush to register. Shame NDC fear-mongering. Nagagazi salutes a harsh puppy over 350 million euros scam. Well, my guest this morning, Mr. George AEC, he is the National Communications Director of the National Disaster Management Organization. And the Honorable Baba Jamal, we haven't seen him in a very, very long time. He's a lawyer, a politician, a former member of parliament, and he speaks for NDC on this platform. Gentlemen, good morning. How are you doing? Yeah, Baba, where have you been? I've been You've been missed. <laughs> I've been around, and uh, it's just that I have not uh, come to your studio for some time. Mm. But I'm around. Those who see me, see me around. Okay. Uh, well, those of us who are seeing you today, too, are seeing you around. <laughs> George, how are you doing? I'm good, Johnny. <laughs> Everything cool? By his grace, we are. Um, uh, the registration is started. Mm. And enthusiasm and excitement is good. So we entreat everybody uh, to keep going. Mm. Let, let's observe the safety protocols, especially the social distancing. Okay. Let's read for you what the Electoral Commission wrote um, yesterday in response to some concerns that the social distancing protocols, which were widely reported with videos and photos, um, the Electoral Commission dated 30th of June, as yesterday says, uh, update on the voters registration exercise. The voters registration exercise took off today, <coughs> Tuesday, June 30, 2020. The Electoral Commission is pleased with the events of the first day. The Commission has noted a few teething issues with the process. Uh, the commission is taking steps to address them. All in all, reports reaching the commission depict a positive turnout at all the registration centers. The commission is aware that some centers recorded high numbers leading to some overcrowding. We are taking steps to work with the security agencies to address possible overcrowding at our registration centers. They have not told us how. Uh, our attention has also been drawn to a photograph making rounds on social media purporting to be a scene at the registration center. The photograph does not show the usual registration center setup uh, that characterizes all the electoral commission's registration centers. It just shows a large crowd gathering together in an area. Again, the originator of the photograph does not indicate the registration center where the photograph was taken. This is not a registration center of the EC and will call on the public to disregard it. Attention has also been drawn to an audio circulating on social media to the effect that guarantors who guarantee for up to 10 people will be disenfranchised. This is not true. <laughs> CI 126 expressly states that guarantors can guarantee for up to 10 people and they will not be disenfranchised. However, any individual who guarantees for more than 10 persons will be picked up by our system and prosecuted. We call on the general public to be circumspect and disregard false information which is not rooted in our laws and see I start Sylvia Noyes, acting director of public affairs. But, but let me start with you. Are you as pleased with the registration process as the electoral commission says they are? Yes, um, let me say good morning to viewers and um, let me also start by saying that I feel a bit uncomfortable and disappointed when I see publications like what is before the Daily Guide, when you try to say that because NDC were raising issues with the registration, mm -hmm. if today the, the registration has started and there are people going to register, they should be, we, we should be ashamed. Mm -hmm. It's very uh, sad that somebody will be thinking this way. Why am I saying this? Because you see, when we are talking about 15 to 18 million people going to register mm -hmm. within 40 days, mm -hmm. so definitely there will be a rush, especially mm -hmm. in the early days, there will be a rush. Mm -hmm. 
whether there were problems or no problems. If you're going to do an exercise to register 15 to 16 million people in 40 days, there will be a rush. Now, two, there is no point where mm -hmm. NDC discourage anybody to go and register. Okay. NDC have been very consistent with our position. We have made it clear that from the very uh, beginning that one, it is waste of resources. Mm -hmm. Two, it is also not good, especially in this time of this pandemic, mm -hmm. corona pandemic. And we also saw it also as an attempt to dis disenfranchise people. We have not departed from those positions. Mm -hmm. We are still we still believe in those positions. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the Supreme Court has spoken, mm -hmm. and we are all falling on line. And when we fall on in line. What did we say? What was our position after the Supreme Court ruling? Our position is clear that every individual should go and register. Right. Don't go and cause trouble. Use your passport, your um, Ghana card, or if you don't have it, get two people to vote for you. We are law-abiding citizens of this country. And for that matter, we will not do anything to disturb the peace of this country. So... If today the registration has started, some of the issues yeah. that we raise are happening today. For example? For example, the social, the, the pandemic problem that mm -hmm. we said that if we are not careful, it could, I mean, someone sold. Mm -hmm. The numbers will just uh, uh, blow up. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. We also said that some, you see, up to today, there were some machines that were having problems. Right. The electoral commission came to tell us that they will use 10 minutes maximum mm -hmm. to register one person. There are right. places where they are using up to 20 minutes to get people through. But those, those are understandable because in the beginning there may be problems. Mm. And for when you start every new process, right. there will be problems. Now today you see people are even complaining about the quality of the card. Mm. Because the quality of the card is not like the one we had. When you look at the quality of the card, it's, uh, I saw it and I said, ah, what is this? Were you disappointed? Very disappointed when I saw the card. Very, very disappointed. Because when I compare it to the old car, mm. we should be seen to be progressing. Right. We should be seen to be going for, for example, when you see the Ghana card, the mm. the Ecowas card, you mm. see that we have progressed right. as a country. You understand? Mm -hmm. But when you come and do it, and even when you look at the card, what with the one I saw, I said, wow, who went... Or who, who, who discussed this? What who accepted this as the but, standard? But, but, but you have been at the table with the. I'm, I'm talking about the NDC at the table with the Electoral Commission. Did they indicate to you the quality of the card? We are not part of those decisions. We were not part of those. You were not part of it. We were not part of. Not even from the initial stage. We were not part of those decisions. Those decisions were taken by the Electoral Commission, and anything that goes right or wrong, they take credit for it. IPAC was not... IPAC was never discussed. Those, those nitty-gritties were our problems. Okay. When even the CI were, were sent to Parliament mm. without the knowledge of some stakeholders, especially the NDC, as people, the mm. NDC, we didn't know when it was discussed, do you understand how it was discussed, what are the issues, we are not part of the procurement, we are not part of anything. Mm. So this is the uh, registration that is coming off. Ghanaians should understand that it is the decision of the Electoral Commission, and as the Supreme Court has uh, confirmed, they can do whatever they want mm -hmm. as long as they think that they are not outside the Constitution. So we agree with them, they should go on. We will be part of the process as we have already instructed all our agents. Our agents are everywhere. Okay. Our agents are part of the process. Mm -hmm. But things like the details of the cars and whatnot, what not, definitely, not aware. We, in, in the previous times, mm -hmm. some of these things will even be shown Okay. ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Then our stakeholders will give their observations. Right. What do you think that this is, we can do this, we can do? Mm -hmm. Because some of these things could have been, been there will have been suggestions. Mm -hmm. Now well, let's do it this way or that way. But they think they can do it all and they are doing it and so we were not part of those details uh, the, as a the, party. The EI which uh, directs that we should observe social distancing, mask up, wash our hands and not gather in large crowds and all of that puts a penalty to it or a jail term to it if you fail to get it. Now we're reading, even though the Electoral Commission says that the images that we saw, social distancing and, and being disregarded, is not from them and we should disregard it. We have also gone around and seen videos and pictures and done stories at the media houses as well. Should the EI apply 
especially on the electoral commission. You see, when the EI came out and under the EI, some in churches mm. or is it uh, the pastors were jailed. Right. We thought that is going to continue. But you see, with what happened with the MPP primaries, mm. do you understand? It, it's now become difficult for the same government <laughs> to go out to say that they are going to enforce mm. some of these things. They will, they, will, they will get the social backlash. Because when you look at what happened in the MPP primaries mm -hmm. and all these things, when you look at what the letter of government, I'm just coming through Nima coming. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I saw some. I said, go and see. The people are messed up. One thing that I think I'm happy with is that they are all wearing masks. Okay. At least the masks, uh, they are observing mm -hmm. it. But in terms of social distancing, take it out. This but was, we within, into the, this was within the, the perimeter. No, no, the perimeter of the EC mm. is, is okay. Okay. Those beyond it. The ones I saw, okay. the perimeter of the EC is okay. Mm. Because at least they ensure the social distancing. You wash your hands and get in there, mm. and the chairs are, I mean, uh, socially uh, uh, distanced. Mm. But when you come just outside, <laughs> just outside, mm. That place, don't, don't talk about social distance. There's what nothing like social distance. I'm saying that there's nothing like social distance happening like, there. Okay. Yes, because that place, everybody is eager to enter into the ring. Mm. And so everybody is, so what I saw this morning is not something that anybody can tell me that social distance is it's being observed. I started all the way from Tema through mm. that place. And the few that are centers I saw open. Mm -hmm. In fact, some centers have not even opened. But go and see the queue. The queue. The centers are not yet open. But see, you can see the key. Where do we go from here? What would you no, advise? I will advise the general public. Mm. It is the public. Because you see, you see can easily say that if you are not within my parameter, it's not my responsibility. That's right. But your responsibility is yourself as an individual. Mm. So when you're going to the center, you should know that, look, let me observe one or two things for my own personal safety. But there's, there's the constraint also of time where... For example, at one cluster, they spend about six or five days. So if you are not, and, and now with the issue of people not receiving their Ghana cards, somebody has to go around for them. If I don't live in a certain area, people don't know me, uh, and I have only five days in a cluster to register, I would be, be enthusiastic to go and want to register. So it is understandable when there is a rush. So for any newspaper, credible newspaper, to go out there to try to say that it's a shame to us because people rush to go and register, you understand this is the circumstances. The circumstances require that people will be, people will not only be, uh, uh, it's not like they are excited to go and register, but there's also the fear that they may lose the opportunity to register if within that time, because six days, mm. within one particular class, right. and you're going to register maybe within that class, you're going to register maybe, 3,000 or 4,000 people within that cluster. Mm. Definitely you understand that. Way. And especially when the machine cannot register too many people in a day. Because look at the time they start. 7 to 6. Is that not it? Now, when you look at 7 to 6, then you... Actually, 7 to 5. 7 to 5. When you calculate... But if you are in the queue before then, you're... Yeah, when you calculate the number of people, the, the machine cannot register maybe 100 before a day. Really? Yes, because you do the calculation. Well, but the 20 minutes you are saying is the exception. But on the average, they are saying between So if 10, it is 10, 10 minutes, if it minutes. is 10 mm. minutes, it means that in every one hour, we're going to register how many people? Six people. Six people. Times the number of hours. 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 hours. So six times 10. Have you seen it? Okay. George. Yeah. Are you as pleased as the electoral commission? Baba, Baba is not as pleased as the electoral commission is because um, some of the issues that are coming up. And for example, I am I am displeased that the electoral commission is trying to, you know, already dismiss what is evident on the ground. Are you as pleased as the electoral commission is? Uh, so far, my uh, let me say good morning to you, the honourable Baba Jamal, uh, to our viewers. Uh, the Social distancing concept uh, is, is actually not being followed, and that is a worry to me. 
Uh, I thought, let's, let's get this to the Electoral Commission. I thought they would have set the example by make, making some markings or demarcations, right? Mm. And then spacing them for about 10 people, the first 10 people. You have to be in these boxes, okay? Mm. 10 people. Then thereafter, those who are going to be in the queue uh, mm. work accordingly. Okay. That if they have done those markings of the places, mm -hmm. that would be an indication to everybody that this is the way we have to space out. Okay. But I don't think that was done for uh, those who are joining the queue. Mm. And so I will entreat the Electoral Commission to take up that responsibility to show the way that this is how we want you to distance, mm. okay? Mm. One meter apart, okay? And so we make the first box, the second, 10 at every center. Okay. That this is the way. Then those after will also But, but that them. is in anticipating, George, of the numbers that you're looking forward to in a day. Yeah. Now, the Electoral Commission, as we've known them to practice, yeah. is that within the perimeter where there is a by by saying... Oh, no, that one is true. The, the security the, detail, the, the security detail yes. itself is to ensure that the machines, the ballot boxes, the officials of Everything. the EC are safe. Yeah. That's his job. Yes. Any other thing is not really his oh, job. Oh, no, no, no. The, the safety of the voters and co, uh, mm. the registrants are also part. Well, you know, they, if they, people they, are engaged in brawls and others, the security people ensure But the priority the safety is the area. equipment, the EC, course, and to protect course, the process. Of course, of course. Now, then they are to assist the EC mm. to ensure that people observe the social distancing protocol. Okay, mm -hmm. and so I want the EC to show the way, to lead the way. Okay, if you remember when this social distancing thing started, mm -hmm. Takradi Market, you, we saw people the way they were positioned and mm -hmm. it was the decision of the district assembly to have done that, and people followed suit. You get it, and so I thought the EC should do that. We saw some in India, mm -hmm. okay, they made it. Q from here to next, an officer is ensuring you are within the boxes, mm -hmm. okay? And so if you do that, then people will begin to comply. Even in the schools it's, where, it's, where it, the sandy, sandy grounds... Of course! Oh, you schools. can do a box. Our ladies, uh, that is a, that's a certain game when we're kids, uh, the ladies two, used two, to play. Two man two. <laughs> yeah, those things. <laughs> they do it in the sand. You get it. So that is but, but John, uh, one this, thing. This will be looming disaster because the Ghana Medical Association is threatening that look, if you want to apply the law, apply it fairly. And if there should be a surge in the numbers after this registration, and if the numbers are so published, we should hold the EC and the MPP or the primaries and the government accountable. This is a looming disaster. You manage disaster in this country. Uh, what do you say? All of us ought to be responsible. It but, doesn't mean because there's COVID, uh, the state must grind to a halt. No. We ought to take responsibility as individuals. The state also has this responsibility to continuously, uh, uh, you know, remind us of the presence of COVID mm -hmm. and the, the danger it, you know, poses to all of us. Okay, and so we ha we have to take individual responsibility. That's how come when I'm coming here, I need to observe the protocols. I wash my hands. I mm -hmm. get sanitized when I get here, right? Mm. Before I, I put on my nose mask, everybody should observe it. And when we come, look at the way you've ensured the spacing, right. okay? Mm. You did it, it you, because you didn't want us to cluster. Mm -hmm. So that is what I'm talking about. Let's all take our responsibility. I agree that in some of the uh, aftermath of the, you know, our primaries, mm. the excitement and call, we saw people, you know, throwing the uh, distancing off board mm. completely. Mm. You get it. And the president actually wasn't happy with that. All of us are actually not happy. So uh, if Ghana Medical Association is uh, complaining, it's, it's right. They, 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 they say the those, those who created the law must be seen to be obeying the law. Yes, yes. And, and not, not the other way around. Why not? Because if a pastor was arrested and prosecuted, yeah. then everybody else who is seen on tape, so, who is caught, should be prosecuted. So the, be let the law enforcement agency do that. And the mm. excitement. Once you do some of these things, when there's a victory, there's excitement. And mm. you know the natural emotions, okay? So that is one thing. Another thing I would want to touch on, mm. uh, you put Daily Guide is captured it aptly, and the Honorable Baba Jamal wants to disagree. They said, mm. and I've met a lot of these uh, people, mm. communicators, say it boldly, Emphatically, what what have they been saying? Certainly, mm. that is not that this registration will never happen. They say it as if they are the EC or they they I don't know what kind of authority they got. Is that fear mongering? 
that you know, they say it will not happen. It will this registration Emma so that, to the point that my good friend Bridget Delphi mm. said on your sister station elsewhere that if it happens, they shouldn't bring him to the studio again. And I've been on programs with others who said the same thing. And I said, ah, why is this coming from? Mm. And so if it starts eh, and mm. it's going on, and the paper is saying this is then you say what? It's because of what you say that it ain't gonna happen. Okay, so please, the NDC, I'm ha happy the honorable, the, the, the poster of the honorable Baba Jama. Mm. Okay, it's good. That's the way we need to go. They're Ghanaians. They have every right to participate. And I'm happy His Excellency, the former president, has called all of them to get involved. Mm. That is the way to go. And the president has said that he wants to win an election convincingly with everything in place. Not... Okay. With, you know, tying with, anybody's with the Ghanaian hand. register. Yes, with a Ghanaian register. With, ah, that's good. Which, which is being generated? <laughs> which is being generated with an Echoes card? <laughs> that's the NIA card. But it's you an know, no, it is know. a Ghanaian card. You know, subsumed into the Echoes subreddit. Mm. Okay, so uh, it is a Ghanaian card. The nomenclature okay. on the card reads Echoes. <laughs> yes, because we are within the Echoes subreddit. So you are using an Echoes card to <laughs> no. generate a Ghanaian register. Is that the case? <laughs> no, it is a Ghanaian card. Okay. Right, which must be accepted in any ECOWAS country. Are you happy with that the quality of the cards about. that were issued yesterday? I I'm surprised people are talking about quality. Well, there was a piloting. So if people are telling me they were not expecting this kind of card, I'm surprised. They were piloting. Mm. Okay, and I saw uh, my honorable Judge Law, okay, the vice chairman of the oh, voter region. region right. Yeah, he showed his card. Okay, and it was similar to what we have. This is like the previous one. The mm. only difference is that now it has a blue background and not mm -hmm. a red background. Mm. You get it? That's the only difference. Apart from that, everything is the same. I agree with people that if we had gotten the NIA type, mm. it would have been the best. Okay. You get it? Mm. But, you know, maybe you look at cost and other things. Okay, so... I thought uh, we, that's we said we're doing a paperless type. system. You get, you say? I thought we said we're doing a paperless system. How do we then now go and be laminating paper and oh. calling it card? <laughs> in the 21st century, in 2020. No, I don't think it's cost money. That's what I'm saying. Mm. I would have been happier if we had gotten the NIA type. Mm. That would have been the best. I was, in fact, anticipating that kind of card. But then when I saw the piloting and then I saw it was a different type, I thought, oh, okay. Uh, and then uh, the another one, uh, Johnny. Mm -hmm. The Honorable Baba Jamal also said something that they were not part in couching the IPAC, uh, sorry, the CI 126. Was, was he, is he wrong? Why, how will you be packed when you're boycotting IPAC meetings? How do you expect to be packed? He's a lawyer. How do you expect to be packed when you boycott very important meetings of IPAC? When you're not listening, Where to, some them. Of these when you're not listening to them, what is the sense of. <laughs> Go there and meeting. make your points. Go there and make your points. Okay. Because you're a major stakeholder. They, 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 they said the, the electoral commission was not willing to listen to them. No, so it's not the true. It's not true. That you see, the madam is very, very receptible mm. woman. She's there. Come, everybody. Okay. But this, because they have taken a position that they're not going to be part, mm. there shouldn't be any new register, they won't get involved in anything. Mm. Okay? And they went to Supreme Court. Fantastic one. Mm. Ultimately, the Supreme Court held the position of the EC. And then we are proceeding as such. And so if you've missed out on certain things, try and make time to catch up. Okay? Mm. Because you did it out of your own negligence. You cannot blame anybody for that. Okay, thank Let's you. Let's make progress. But, I'm happy but Maybe you want started. to take a second. Yeah, you see. I'll give, I'll give mm -hmm. him a, the, the I, when you introduced us here, you introduced me as a representative NDC. I thought he's... A professional, but I didn't know he's here as an MPP spokesperson. If he's in here as MPP spokesperson, let me now deal with him as MPP spokesperson because from his statement, clearly, even though he's supposed to be a public uh, officer, mm -hmm. he's an include in MPP colleagues. Now, let me make one thing clear to him you see, when you say from the beginning you heard people saying that the card will not come on. Mm -hmm. And so now that they have decided to be part of it, it's nauseating. I beg to differ. I said they made nauseating comments. Yeah, it, I beg to differ. Okay. You see, it what's, is, what's it your is, point it is of, an uh, exhibition divergence. of lack of understanding of the whole process and, in fact, the political atmosphere. For mm -hmm. example, when we are going to court, 
when you go in court to court with a case, you are confident you are winning. Right. So you tell everybody that we are winning the case. Nane Kufuado for eight months didn't recognize President Mahama. But when the, uh, the Supreme Court pronounced, mm -hmm. he, he, he fell in line. So that was the basis for you saying... So we are saying that from what we have and what we are putting before the Supreme Court, this thing will not happen. Okay. So if at the end of the day, the Supreme Court didn't agree with us, mm. it does not mean that we were making noise. It does not mean we didn't have a point. We still disagree with the Supreme Court. Okay. Even though we accept their, 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 their And mm. you see, my brother, don't make statements that you don't have, you are not privy to the, what happened. What statement, for example? For example, telling us that because we boycotted, that's why we're not part of the process. Do you remember the beginning of this voter register? <laughs> it started when the Electoral Commission smuggled into a, 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 a meeting the idea to bring a register mm -hmm. and publish that as the main understanding at the meeting that there is going to be a new register, we came out vehemently. In fact, all political parties at the, at the meeting came out vehemently and said that that was not part of the agenda. And when it started, because, and let me, you see, you were talking about a process, mm -hmm. not an event. <clears throat> so, and the process is led by the Electoral Commission. Right. If the Electoral Commission wants you to be part of it, mm. he will not call... You see, let me tell you. How can you call a meeting on a new register mm. on an emergency level, uh, 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 no. situation? Mm. How can you expect us to be part of said meetings? So we go to the meeting... But you could have gone anyway to register you go. for pleasure. There's no meeting. You see, when you say about God of meeting, there's no meeting that we don't go. We go. Mm. 25th March? Please, we go. I'm telling you all the major <laughs> meetings. We, I led the, uh, the the last boycott. I was there personally. Okay. So please don't speak as if you don't uh, what you don't know about. I know. I'm part of the process. I was there at the last meeting. At the last I passed. At the last, uh, not the last one. Okay. The, the one. The one before after, you refused to. Yes. Go. Okay. The one after the eminent people met and said that we should go and meet and discuss it. Okay. We went and the letter commission I put on the table that this is. We are going to discuss how we are going to do a new register. We said, no, but that was not what was said. What was said, and let's come and see whether it is practical. Right. If it's practical, then we move forward. Then they say, no, they are going to discuss how it's going to be done. That's why we worked out. So, my brother, if we worked out, in any case, in the history of this country, go and look at the records. Which party has boycotted uh, 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 processes in this country more than your, your party? More than your party. Look, even in parliament, go and look at the records. They even boycotted your, your, your ancestors, even boycotted the 1992 constitution that you are championing today. You refuse to be part of the process. Okay. So please don't mm. let us talk as if we, 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 we. I am telling you that we were not part of it. Okay. We were not part of the processes that led to the new register, mm. the details of it. Maybe at the, the details of it. And mm. so when you are talking about the card, the, like we are saying that there was a there was a, 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 a pilot right. who tells you that the, what happens in the pilot is the same thing that happens in the is that not in the, the dress rehearsal? Oh, in the yeah. oh, it was, mm. it was, it was. When you pilot something, right. you, you see, if you, you see, if you pilot something, you pilot to make changes mm. to ensure that it is getting right. Okay. So you don't just pilot and say that I'm piloting. When you pilot to do the same thing, then what is the need of that and pilot? He's, and he's saying that after the pilot, if you had reservations, you could have raised. If you don't, if you didn't hear, it does not mean. If you didn't hear, it does not mean some of us didn't raise it. Okay, thank you. If uh, you didn't hear, it does not mean uh, some no, of us no, didn't no, raise it. Take a second yeah. bite. Uh, thank you. While Ethanab gets ready to read. Uh, most of the nauseating, arrogant comments of his um, is not going to happen. Mm. Was made before they even thought about going to court. Mm. I'm telling you. Okay, so Honorable Baba Jama, I know you are one of the decent NDC guys. I respect. My brother, you every much. NDC person, <laughs> don't try to come like that. My brother, I am myself. I'm not Everybody has his own no. character. No. Everybody has his own character. Mama, 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 thank he's you. He's eulogizing you. No, no, everybody has his character. I won't be sitting here and say that I am this and somebody is not this. Everybody has his role to play uh, thank within you. the center. Thank, thank, yes. thank you. Thank uh, you. And two, Johnny. If you boycott a process, you must be ready for the ramifications, the consequential decisions. You must abide by them. It's a choice you made. Mm. 
Mm. Okay? And so if the consequential decision is CI 126, mm. and that is what is going to govern the electoral processes, mm. you must be ready to submit to that because you were but given the opportunity and you did it. Okay? But, but, but you make an input. Input. You got it. No, so that is it. No, no, no. I'm saying no, no, no. But, but they are there registering. Oh, yes. No. He, he complained about some of the contents of the CI. You remember right. the, when the, the, the use of the voter ID 2012 mm. was not part of the CI. But that was the case they took. <gasps> Good. Thank you. So if you were there, you could have made a case. What case? Maybe to convince the electoral but, but commission they, but they, they are, why they, that should be passed. But they are insisting that the <laughs> electoral commission <laughs> had a meeting with them yes. and the committee of eminent persons, 21, yes. and yes. some CSOs, yeah. and they did a presentation to suggest that yes. they were going to in include the existing voter ID cards. Yes. They said the electoral they, yes. they well, brought documents here. Yes, so, yes. So so why would the that was the initial So why would the electoral commission And they didn't boycott it. I was at... Uh, uh, so, Dr. So, Andrews so my hotel. question is, why uh, were Coconut Grove? That's Coconut the, Grove, yes, yeah. they so, worked out. So why would, the electoral a commission, there why would the electoral commission say <laughs> yes. one thing to the parties, CSOs, and the committee of eminent oh, but he himself who are supposed said to advise them? Processes. And, and, do and in the course of the so, process, so. they decide to review their position. Why not? Okay. You get it. And so let's allow the, East, the NDC shot themselves in the foot. Okay. Now, if they've come back to join the trade, mm -hmm. let them be aboard. If they see anything that they are not satisfied with, they can raise it. Okay. But to complain, because you had the chance and you didn't take it. I mean, Thank it's you. own... Uh, Mama, let's, let's go for messages okay. and, from, and for from the records, records. For yeah. the records. Yeah. You introduced me as now. Yes, and I'm part of the government communication. Or the okay. MPP right. communication. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's part. So okay. it's, it's part of it. So it doesn't take away, doesn't take away his job from <laughs> no, 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 no. I come here as a politician. So I don't have a problem with how you deal with me. I have got no problem with that to go up Because I come here ready and prepared. messages have already been read. So you need to go up. This one has been read. Yes, I'll show you where we stopped. Uh, sure, so that that's we can fine. Quickly, okay. uh, da, pa, okay. pa, pa, pa. Up, up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So from here? Uh, from no. Here is good. No, come down. Okay. No, down. no, no. Down. Come down. Yeah, okay. the other way. From here is good. No. Okay. Okay. Go, 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 okay. go, go. We are going way up. To yeah, the it's top okay. End. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So from here? Yes. All right. The card is just nothing to write home about. Just chop, chop alone, as Azuma, uh, Paul. Good morning, TV3. This problem is what all uh, is what all well-meaning Ghanaians were trying to prevent, but the EC and the government insisted. Hmm, did I hear the EC official yesterday saying it's everyone's responsibility when they were vehemently saying they can do it without problem? Hmm, God have mercy. NS Dunsman. Good morning to you all. I want to find out if the EC tested all its employees before they started this registration. And also, if one registered yeah. at Kumase for yeah. the last registration and I'm no longer there, is there the need for transfer of registration or I can go ahead and register in my current location? Good morning, Bella and her team. Uh, God bless you for the good work you are doing. I want to remind you and that, that the registration centers are not worst places of spreading the virus, but rather the marketplaces, but the focus should rather be the markets. Thank you. Good morning, Johnny. As I've always said, our current leaders are not concerned about our health. They are only concerned about the power that have, uh, they have. And hence, at all costs, we'll want to do this registration at the expense of the citizens in this time of COVID-19. Area, I'm sent that from Adenta News site. I'm Nana from Sakumono. Good morning. Anyone who floods, uh, flouts the COVID-19 safety directives must be arrested. Good morning. Please, I want to know if I decide to stay safe for home with my family and we decide not to take part in the registration exercise. Does that mean we are not Ghanaians? I just wanted to buy a, a, an MTN SIM card for my son and I was told that they don't accept the Ghana card and I don't have any other card apart from the previous voter ID and the Ghana card. So I want to ask if we have not been denied as Ghanaians. Mm. Raymond from Pong. Good morning, TV3. I just wish the rains won't disrupt the ongoing voter registration exercise. Good morning, Johnny. Ask Baba Jamal if NDC oh. thinks there's pandemic, so we shouldn't have done the registration. Then logically, it makes sense to let the president continue to govern the country without voting in December because there's a pandemic. Eric Clinton, the CEO. EC did not try uh, at all in my polling station. That is Carl uh, Pohen. Anglican school in the Tamale North 
constituency to be precise. There was no water in the Veronica bucket that they brought. Social distance protocol observation was thrown out to the dogs by Abdul Malik Taylor from Tamale. Good morning, Johnny. I'm, as, as I'm posting this message, it's raining since from yesterday, okay, mm. so since yesterday. How can we register? I'm not happy with the whole thing from Majid Mame Krobo in, in the eastern region. Good morning, Johnny. What Baba Jamal is saying is true. With the time taking it to register, some even take more than 20 minutes to register. Social distancing, dear, don't mention at all. Abu Safianu Baka from Gushegu. Good morning, TV3. My name is Daniel from Tema. I think NDC should understand that no matter what, we should come together as one people and support the EC so that the registration will be successful instead of them to condemn it. So are the NDC telling, uh, telling the people not to register again? I don't think so. God is watching us all. Keep uh, social distancing. This is Spencer from Airport Hills. Good morning, Johnny and your team. Always giving us what we have to hear each and every day. Good work, always. Greetings to Abrantia Kofi. Uh, Bonte Benjamin, uh, hashtag Achim Ibuakwa. Johnny, the onus lies on us as citizens to observe the social distance protocol and stop blaming the EC for some people's negligence. This one's, I think, the very last two. Uh, mm. Johnny, good, uh, Johnny, good and blessed day to all TV3 morning. Uh, please, do you know something? Politicians don't care and think about citizens, but power and money. See what is going on. So voter registration is more important than life. No social distancing. God is watching. The very last one. Good morning. EC has done its best uh, spelling out the requisite protocols related to COVID-19. However, it's up to registrants to be prudent enough at the registration centers. Gabi sent that from Begura. Okay, thank you very much. And Ambassador Sampiale sends this one. He says, uh, Johnny, the president said he did not uh, well, want an ECOWAS register, but what are we registering with? Ghana card or the ECOWAS card? The GMA has called for the arrest of the MPP for their primaries <laughs> and acclamations. So which policeman can scale equity and arrest anyone else? Uh, those who create the law must be seen to be obeying the law themselves. Good analysis to uh, lawyer Babajama. Um, let me come to you, George. No, I was, uh, I was coming. He used this book. Uh, no. Okay, we are starting. We, we, yes, yeah, so we have closed. We have closed uh, on that one. one. But George, one. quickly, if you have information, if somebody just sent me a message. His passport is expired. Uh, he cannot register with his birth certificate. He doesn't have an NIA card, and he's moved to a new area. So nobody can guarantee for him because oh. he doesn't know the people. What does he do? Can he uh, register with the, the expired no, passport? No, uh, if, if your passport is expired, it's not legit. <laughs> okay, you need to go renew it, right? So you need to, and we, we are in a communal system. The structure He's is moved from that. Accra to Kumasi. Oh, Nobody come on. That's, what, that's what he says. Yes, yes, but he, he settled for some time. People know him within the neighborhood. Okay, okay so definitely he'll get somebody And that makes go. him a Ghanaian. Uh, is it? That makes him a Ghanaian. Oh, no, because but the, the, the ideal one, if you look at the form, is either your father, your brother, your uncle, those right. people, mm. you get it, mm. or others. The others you specify, then you justify uh, why that. But Johnny, let me say something short about You see, every polling station, mm. uh, they call it the branch level. Right. Every polling station has a maximum of either 500 or 750 on the register. Mm. That is how kind of we did the subdivision up to the 33,000 okay. plus. Okay. And the cluster system too, they will move to every polling station. Right. You get it. And so people shouldn't rush. That's important. We did the cluster system in 2012. Mm. It worked very mm. well. And so uh, if it's been replicated, let's all respect it. Everybody in that polling station, 500 to 750, mm. would get on the register. Okay. So let's not be okay. in a I'll rush. I'll give Baba the final thought. But let, before I come to you, Baba, sorry. Uh, free water is ending uh, today. <laughs> free electricity is ending today. But we will still be asked to wash our hands with yes. soap and other running water. Yeah. Uh, I thought that the government said that the free water was meant to aid us to wash our hands. Yeah. We're still no, washing. there's the possibility of any We're still washing uh, our hands. Review. Ghana yeah. Water Company says you will pay. No problem. The Maybe, the see, they the brought program is has extended the freebies for the nurses right. and cook for another three months. So who knows? Maybe uh, there's going to be uh, some extension. I'm not saying it okay. emphatically, but there's that You're possibility. You're not promising. Yes, we you are. You cannot promise. <laughs> <laughs> Baba, take a final. You see, let me make it clear that NDC has abided by the Supreme Court's ruling. Mm -hmm. And for that matter, we have no problem with the Electoral Commission. But it does not take away our right mm -hmm. to complain when there is a problem. 
Yes. By complaining does not mean you are against the system. Yes. That is the first. Mm. And two, we need to also understand that NDC as a political party, mm. even though we exercise our right mm. to boycott the, in, in the, in the some part of the processes, because, for example, I'm very glad you brought up this mm. video. There was a video mm -hmm. where in the meeting, the IT director told us that we're going to use uh, 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 old voter ID card. Right. I heard Dr. Serebo also say on air that, oh, when you have your old ID card, mm. you just bring it, you put it there, they look at it, right. and then you are you are free to go. Only for the same issue. What they said was they were going to use the data yes. from the Simple. old ID. Simple. 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 So, <laughs> if, <laughs> yes, but, 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 but what does that mean? It, it means that when you take it there, <laughs> they, it picks your data. That's yeah. all. Now, for the same uh, uh, issue, mm. in a matter of weeks turn around you go to a meeting and all of a sudden the meeting is that in fact they didn't even wait for us to go to a meeting before we realized the i the uh, ci 126 mm. has been late in parliament yes. only for us to be seen, seen that oh now you can't even use your card at all okay so my brother, what we are saying what we are saying is the please 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 what we are saying is that, that card is defective. we are prepared let me tell you that nobody should think that because we didn't buy the brother we are not prepared we are prepared, we know you are prepared. to go okay the full act yeah. to ensure that we have a credible register. Yes. Okay. And that will not stop us. That's good. From winning the election. That's, that's, that's what that's President Nanado wants. Okay. That's Thank you. Please, please, George, please, please. George, you are boycott as well. So, how do you say everything you boycott? On a note of boycott as well. My brother, you don't seem to know your history. On a personal interest note, the last time you were here, we spoke about the crowding in the buses. Yes, it hasn't yes, changed. Yes. It, oh, the minister yeah, said, said the minister said that yeah. he was going to consult with the MTTD yeah. and uh, yeah. Honorable Siam. Yeah, that's yeah, from minister, yeah. But it hasn't changed. Oh. People are still sitting in the buses, crowding up together. Wow. You are national disaster management organization PRO. Can I trust you to make sure that something is done about this? Oh, we, we need to... Because uh, it's been two because weeks Because you've more. taken it to a bigger level, yes. which is the ministerial level. So the transport minister and then the uh, information minister, which mm. means they can relate with the interior minister to then uh, get my director general. So we uh, take the... Can you mention it to your director general to be interested in this? Of course, definitely this. I can do that. Because but once it, you've taken it at the ministerial level, it can be discussed at that you, level. You, and then you, the director general can be instructed... You think these people care about what you're talking you about? You get it. So that's, that's but, 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 but that's You think these people think... That's about That's what you are talking about. Yeah. If they, so we, if we they care about what you are talking about, level. they will not be doing what they are doing today. Please, we are, when we were at around 400 or 500, mm. we locked down. We are in 17,000 now. And so we should lock you down. still think that they are interested in what we are talking about? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a good call. Don't give up on the call. We well, also I am not giving up. Going. Uh, yes. When I people are dying, continue to call. I, I and go and go. Yes. George, I am not giving up. <laughs> as for the propaganda from the NDC, George, we, we are not worried yeah, yeah. about it. It's not going to distract you. It's very sad that. that. It's very sad that. Your propaganda. It's very sad that. It's your modus operandi. So we don't have problems who should be with in disaster management is sitting here as MPP communication of a member. Yes. To be communicating government position, yes. then you don't call yourself a propagandist. You call me, who is officially the deputy director of elections. You call me a propagandist? You, I who is supposed to be a professional? Now you are mixing your professionalism deal. with politics. Okay. Okay. And you don't, you don't, you are not ashamed of it. Thank you. Why should I be ashamed? Out, out, out. Why should I be ashamed? Not ashamed? Okay, thank you, Jeremy. Sad, sad, sad. Thank you, Jeremy. Your microphone is out. If you're a politician, you don't go into a professional job. You don't go into a professional job like disaster. Who was Potofi? You don't go there. Who was Potofi? When Potofi went there and he became a chairman, he resigned. Okay. Thank you. You want us to talk about Thank you. No, no, no. Let's go. Let's go. You want us to talk about that? Judge, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up yet. Except to say that I don't feel the urgency in trying to solve the problem. And I'm, but I'm not giving up. Yeah, I'm not giving yeah. up because no, no, no. As you I, said, I know that over time, yeah. you know, yeah. it will come. Because yeah. when I started talking the about the, the president speaking, yeah. uh, what do you call it, local yeah. dialects in his yeah. addresses, yeah. it took time, yes. but it came. Yes. So many others. So, so, so I'm not no, giving no, up. Once you've spoken to Kojo, Kojo will work on this. I'm not giving up. Don't give up because hope is the bread of life. Okay. Don't give up. Hope is the bread of life. Pastor Baba Jamal. Sheikh Baba Jamal. Anyway, let's. Let's <laughs>